natin. Equation of line. Okay, tapos na yung slope dito, finding the equation of line. So, ang given dito, yung simple lang muna, slope, saka y-intercept. So, mayroon tayong formula. Okay, direct formula. Ito yung slope-intercept form. y is equal to mx plus b. So, yung m, yun yung slope. Okay? So, b, yun yung y-intercept. So, substitution lang. Kung ano nakuha mong slope, ay given na slope, isubstitute mo doon. Y-intercept, substitute mo doon. Yun na yung equation of line. Okay, example. Write an equation of the line whose slope is 4 and the y-intercept is negative 5. So, direct substitution. y is equal to mx plus b. So, ulat muna natin yung formula. y is equal to mx plus b. Okay. So, alam na natin yung m. Yun yung slope. So, 4. Substitute. Yung b, negative 5. So, y is equal to 4x. Tapos, yung b natin is negative 5. So, minus 5. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Yan na yung equation of line. Okay. Sinubstitute lang natin yung 4 dun sa formula. Yun yung slope. Yung b. Now, ito yung b. Ito yung y-intercept na negative 5. So, y is equal to 4x minus 5. Kaya lang, meron yung mga iba na kailangan yung answer mo uh, naka-arrange sa 4x minus y equals to 5. Depende. Pero dito, pwede na yan. Okay? Kasi, sinabi ko, dapat yung answer mo in slope intercept 4. So, okay na yan. Accepted na yan. Okay? So, yan ang answer natin. Equation the line is y is equal to 4x minus 5. Okay, next. How about if the slope is negative 7 and the y-intercept is 6? Okay, so, ganun pa rin. y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, yan na yung slope-intercept form. Substitute na natin. Ang slope natin ngayon is negative 7. So, negative 7x okay, ang y-intercept is 6 so plus 6 okay, ito na yung equation of my y is equal to negative 7x plus 6 okay, naitindihan ba natin? so yung m, yun yung slope yung b, yun yung y-intercept so direct substitution lang dito sa so, next time, yun yung may point na given, tapos may slope Okay? So, ang tabayanan nyo yun. Tapos, yung isa naman, dalawang point ang given. Hahanapin natin yung equation of line. So, sunod-sunod yan. So, ito muna. Ito yung using the y-intercept. Okay? So, number number 3. How about if the slope is 1 half and the y-intercept is 3 over 2? So, ano yung formula natin ng slope-intercept form? y is equal to mx plus b. Okay? So, huwag niyong kakalimutan niya yung formula na yan. Slope intercept form. Okay? Palitan na natin yung m, yung slope. 1 half. So, y is equal to 1 half x okay, plus b. So, plus 3 over 2. So, ganito yung sagot mo in the form of slope intercept form. So, depende sa tanong yan. Meron yung tanong sa M, top. Write your answer in the slope intercept form. Write your answer in the standard form. Meron din akong topic na ganun. Next time, lalagay natin ito in standard form. Okay, iba naman yun. Ano ba yung standard form? Depende sa tanong. Pwede yung EX plus BY equal C. Pwede yung EX plus BY plus C equal to 0. Depende sa dun sa tinatanong ito, slope intercept form lang. So, para hindi tayo maguluhan. Okay, next. How about oh, si slope is negative 3 fourth and the y-intercept is negative 1 half. Okay, so, the same process. y is equal to mx 
plus B. Ano na yung y equals to mx plus B? Yan yung tinatawag na slope intercept form. So, write your answer in the slope intercept form. So, yan yung kagamitin mo. So, substitute lang kasi ang given is slope mayroon na negative 3 fourth. Yung y intercept mayroon na rin negative 1 half. So, substitute na natin. y is equal to negative 3 over 4 x. Yan yung slope. Minus 1 half kasi negative. Minus 1 half. Okay? So, yan na yung answer natin. In the slope intercept form. So, ulitin ko. Yung m, yun yung slope. Negative 3 fourth. Yung B, yun yung y-intercept, which is ne negative 1 half. So, magiging minus 1 half na yung equation natin. So, yung final answer natin is y is equal to negative 3 fourth x minus 1 half. Ganyan lang kasimple. Pag ganyan yung given. Okay? So, pag sinabi niya, write in standard form. So, multiply both sides by 4. I-simplify natin. Ano, sa next lesson nyo, ituturo ko yun pag gawing standard form. Depende doon sa tinatanong. So, dito, sabi ko nga, paulit-ulit, ang answer mo in slope intercept form. So, y is equal to negative 3 fourth x minus 1 half. So, tandaan nyo yan. Yan yung sagot pag in slope intercept form. Okay, next. Number 5. How about whose slope is 10 and the y-intercept is 20? Okay, so, sulat natin. Ano yung formula natin ng slope-intercept form? y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, yan. Palagi kong sinusulat para ma-memorize nyo kung ano talaga yung formula. Okay, yun ang tutorial natin para Hindi yung solve ka ng solve, hindi naman naiintindihan, ang bilis-bilis. Dito dapat matututunan nung nanonood. Kasi, ang bilis-bilis, paano ko matututo, di ba? Okay, ano na yung slope natin? 10. Okay, so y is equal to 10x plus b. Ano na yung b? Y-intercept. Y-intercept is 20. So, positive siya. So, plus 20. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Okay. So, ulitin ko. Ito na yung slope-intercept form natin. Para ma-memorize nyo, sinusulat ko pa ulit-ulit. Yung slope natin, yung M, papalitan, magiging 10X. Yung Y-intercept, positive 20. So, plus 20. Okay. So, Y is equal to 10X plus 20. Ano itong form na to? slope intercept form so sabi ko depende sa tanong kung ano yung tinatanong kung slope intercept form standard form sa susunod na lesson tatalakayan natin yung kung paano i-transfer into standard form so itong equation of the line na sinulog natin ngayon is ang given slope sa ka y intercept form okay ay sa ka y intercept yung susunod slope sa ka point so ang tabayanan yun iba naman yung formula doon. Tapos yung isa, yung two points gagamitin natin yung mga previous lesson natin. So, tumutok lang dito para sunod-sunod yung uh, pagkatuto nyo dito sa equation of line. Dito lang sa matuto. Learn to love math. Till next time!